Okay, here we are. And hopefully everything is working. Looks like we're capturing at a full 30 frames per second. I think I can see myself moving over there. Yep, okay, cool. I think we're good to go. Uh, okay, so. <sighs> Let's, um... Was this the thing that uh, I wasn't able to? Yeah, I think this is the thing that I wasn't able to do very well. And that was, yes, highly dangerous. Okay, thank you. Glad it's looking and sounding good. Okay. However, it looks like for some reason, uh, the chat program is still coming through uh, the computer speakers rather than the headphones. Uh, so we'll just try and adjust that really quickly here. Uh, let me see. Okay. Okay, and not that one, that one. Okay, hopefully now chat messages should not show up in the audio anymore. All right. Trevor's last ride. Oh, that one. God, that was annoying. Okay. Sure, why not? Where are we going for this one? All the way over. The, all the way over here. Okay. And of course I'm going the wrong way. go. Oh. All right. Well, I guess we just got to do the same thing as usual. Okay. 
anything worth taking. Not really. can I do I'm pretty sure that there are some extra quests on Carrie's side story that I want to get done before uh, heading off to the final mission Is there a... Uh... An icon for the cyber psychosis things? I'm not sure there is. Does not seem like it. Alright, well... That's fine. Since I'm down here, might as well uh, head over there. scrap broke out at a construction site. Dude responsible is heavily ironed. He'd be a great candidate for psycho study if you end this thing with him alive. Sending you the details. All right. Well, I'm here, so I'll do this, then take care of that dude. What? There we go.
Okay. That's uh that was a surprisingly tame mission. So, okay. All right then. And now for the cyber psycho. guy. I'm gonna do E9... Oh, okay. <clears throat> E9VD? Sure looks like not. Okay. E9VD 1C BD5 Hmm. about BD551C Seven A one C E nine. I don't think there's a way to get both. Okay. Well, fine then. We'll go for uh, BD seven A one C. Can we now do E now? We yeah we can't do it. Oops. All right, so what do I need to do to make my stuff non-lethal? There we go. Know why those weren't both enabled already? Okay, those are all enabled. Uh, looks like nothing else has mods immediately. Okay, yeah, save before stupid. That's, uh, yikes. Wow, that is 
someone who is cyber cybered up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Is a nasty weapon. I don't think so, sir. Now this guy. This guy's after me too now? What? Why?
Okay. Everything loaded. Search the area for information. Is Regina? There we are. Okay. That's some cheesy ass dialogue right there. All right. Let's see. Let's go ahead and just skip 24 hours. Where it's apparently still raining. Because why not? Asian. Us cracks. We never celebrated our little victory. Go around back, tell the bouncer you and me. We'll let you in, no problem. No 
Okay, I guess somehow I have to get up there. Fine. How did I manage to hit the corner? Definitely liking this new keypad. Keypad. It's got uh, analog keys, so it detects how far down I'm pressing the keys. Super useful for driving. Oh, that's so much better. Still won't, you know. Stop me from missing turns, though. Yes. Oh, there we go. This elevator is out of order. Sorry. If it's out of order, why are you here? Heh. <laughs> out of order for Carrie Uridine's guests, too? He's expecting me. In that case, enjoy your evening. That looks a little bit like Val Kilmer. I'm sure that guy's a badass. Alright. I'm also going to tempt fate here. And, uh. Mess with some of the video settings. Nope. Oh. I already did, okay. Wow. Never mind. I'm not going to mess with the video settings. Say 
that? It goes to show you, you shouldn't trust a word that comes out of my mouth. Sweet little lies. Only way I can get at the truth. Now, girls, how was it for God. I keep to myself. Thanks, but I really gotta run. Late for my next thing already. Let's go. Unless you feel like giving a few more interviews. Love at first sight, huh? Many people are kind of loving. Walking in Memphis, off beam, ages ago. <laughs> He's got bream stuff. Give your friends and family discount too. Of course, Mr. Uridine. Special rate for your friends. Let's All right. You, uh, you can talk this later. Come with me. I want to show you something. Congrats, Care. Decent show. Now that that's behind us. What's Carrie Uridine's next mission? Hit on Kovacek? Very funny. But yeah, not about to let him get away with it. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow. But the bastard's gonna regret making me sign those papers. You try to get out of that deal with the label? Ah, let's be real. Say I break contract. Then what? Who's gonna release my new tracks? Who's gonna deal with distribution, promotion, influencers? Media. Labels have got them all in their pockets. You're out with them, you're out, period. Well, you'd be free. Seriously? Free to sing until you're blue in the face, nobody hearing a thing? It's just another kind of cage. I'll show you one of my favorite spots in Night City. Don't come here often. When I do, it's important. Now, should I feel special? Maybe. Told him to shut the place down for the day. <sighs> Can't get enough of this view. Love looking at this city from above. Uh, there we go. Well, only place you fall asleep thinking you're special and wake up knowing you're no. Is uh. Okay. Carrie, I can see something's eating you. Thought the whole us cracks thing was me being afraid, being exposed. People finally seeing me as another piece of merch, another cog in a corporal machine. Sell out Uridine. Show an Asian pop starlet's a good time for cash, fame, chance to remind people he's still fucking alive no truth to that there is but that's not what's important the real problems deeper way deeper talk to me see thought I was afraid everybody think me another corpo slave and I was just afraid I'd be in someone's shadow again again Lived in Johnny's for years. Part of the scenery, machinery. Helping him shine brighter. 
Never believed I'd make it on my own without Silverhand. That's why he left Samurai. Fuck. Johnny figured you chickened out. Couldn't take the pressure, so you left Samurai. Yeah, I know. But he was wrong. Decided to start fighting for myself. Still keeping that up. Night City is a city of shadows. And everything I could to walk clear of them for years. Fuck. It's time you stop being afraid. You don't need to be. <laughs> Think you can drive the shadows away? Ha. Huh. No. You'll be fine. Not this douche. Not me too. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I sure hope so. We should get back. Everyone downstairs is waiting. For you. I know. In to knock back a few to this town tonight, and me in it. But I'm gonna stay up here a bit longer. You go ahead. Okay. See ya. I think that was the last. What, huh? <laughs> yeah, that was the last big mission before the uh, final one. So now we're free to see what we can do to get Johnny out of our head. Although, oh, am I actually, all right, interesting, so okay, fine. Those numbers aren't as high as I would expect for this mission, but uh, see where we can go all right so over here embers Let's just uh, save right here. There we go. Yep. God, I feel sick. Don't like this at all. This porcelain bitch is the worst kind of news. Can we chill for two secs? We go in, we talk, and we leave. That's it. I'm sure it'll be exactly that smooth. She emptied the place. Shit. It's a nice latex dress. Thanks for meeting me. Of course, B. And I thank you. Before we discuss details, I feel I owe you an explanation. 
I must tell you why I changed my mind and wish to help. Weren't sure of anything. If you could trust me, if your Nobu killed your father, now... I knew. From the start. You knew? All the board members knew. Not one soul even slightly interested in the matter believed in the poisoning. Details were disparate, inconsistent. You knew, but didn't do a thing about it. Why? Suddenly sprout a conscience just yesterday? My father had flaws. I know this. I harbor no illusions about it. When a foe needed removal, my father ordered it without a thought to mercy. A way of being Yorinobu could not abide. But to my father, ends ever justified means. Saburo Arasaka has always valued just one thing. Do you know what it is? Ties that bind. Yes, family. I was to be its heart, to uphold life, ensure continuity, stability, never to oppose it. Huh. Guess your Nobu's instructions were a little different. Yorinobu raised his hand against our father, but he is an Arasaka. He is family. I do not expect you to understand. I wish you merely to know I do not oppose my brother willingly. That it is difficult. Mm-hmm. He's your brother. It's been hard. It'll be hard. Let's say I get that. What changed your mind? We received a warning during the parade. Security protocols were violated. The first doubts sprouted then. They grew yet greater in your hideout, when my brother's assault group arrived not to rescue, but to kill. Yorinobu was just plain willing to sacrifice you. My father was right about my brother. He never cared for us. I was brought up to be the heart of the family. It is time for the Arasakas to listen to their heart. <laughs> it will bring justice. Did you bring Soul Killer? As we agreed, you Finger would. on the trigger. Don't say a word. Seem on edge. Something got you spooked? I... don't know. Three times now, that AB has flown by. Think someone might have told you? Hmm... We must not get distracted. Did you bring Soul Killer? Take me for a fool. Think I'd fall for that? Got plans to walk out of here alive. Had I any ill intentions, I would have chosen a side far more discreet than this. We are here because I know how to save your life. I can lead you to Mikoshi. Meaning? Mikoshi don't exist in real space. Yet its access points do, and one is very near. Where? Here in Night City. Beneath Arasaka Tower. We ought to leave. Right now. Shut up. For one goddamn minute, shut up. This is gonna be a disaster. Sit. We have little time. And you'll help me in exchange for... <gasps> My brother. You catch a whiff of that? It smells like shit. Careful not to step in it. He must be made to take responsibility for his deeds. Just say it. Be easier that way. I want him punished. Still vague. You want him dead. I want the Arasaka Corporation to know the truth. How you plan to do this? Yorinobu. Hanako-sama. Yorinobu will soon call a meeting of the board. Representatives of all factions are expected to attend. The perfect moment for them to learn the circumstances of my father's death. I will get you into this meeting, and you 
will testify against my brother. Testify? Listen, mind if I'm straight with you? Help me get rid of Yorinobu. I will help you get rid of the construct. Want me to throw Yorinobu under the bus in front of Arasaka top brass? And Call me crazy, but that sounds like fucking suicide. I will need to return to this I know. And that is why we will take all the necessary precautions. Like, such as? <laughs> you will see. Let's assume it works. Then what? We take the Arasaka throne? Where would you get that idea? Figured it as a given. Besides, Takamuru said you were supposed to step in for Yorinobu here in Night City. Everyone must know their place, B. That is a fact my brother has never understood. I know my place, and I have no wish to change it. Know my place, too. Know exactly where I came from. Maybe, once it's all said and done, I'll find my way back there. Perhaps. If you can prove your value. Jesus, I'm gonna fucking puke. So? Offer's intriguing. Need to think about it. Naturally. But think quickly. Yorinobu is on high alert after the parade. He may harbor suspicions. Getting us out of here. Don't try anything. Wait. Is everything all right, Manako-sama? I am fine. He is not. It's fine. I'm okay. You are bleeding. It seems you are running out of time. Don't delay. Make your decision. No worries. About that. You could use some air. Right now. to me see what I'm getting at yeah I get it I don't like it one bit I'm still going Come strong on, face the facts pop some pseudo endo scooch and let me get behind the wheel I'll get us to fucking Mikoshi yeah how exactly? Without that porcelain cunt's help, that's for damn sure. Don't stand a chance without help. Right about that. But that's why I'll bring Rogue. She's not rusted through just yet. Plus, she owes me. Maybe she'd have stuck her neck out for you half a century ago, but now, I don't see it. I'll convince her. After all, we know a thing or two about ops like this. We'll blast our way into Sokka Tower, just like we did back in the day. Then find a way inside. I'm Mikoshi. sure that's gonna work. It's our only chance. What about Pan Am? She offered help. Listen, I know you and Pan Am got a thing going. I get it. I do. But that's what makes it such a shitty idea. You don't want to rope her into this. Made the same mistake myself once. You don't want those people involved, their lives on the line, possibly on your conscience. Our one hope is sitting at the afterlife right now, and her name is Rogue. Hanako's office on the table. I'm sorry. Whose? Oh, cut the crap. She actually has power, could be our ticket. Our ticket, huh? 
Okay, I see your angle. You think working with the corpo cunt is gonna sweeten the deal? Well, let me tell you something. The corpo kleptocracy is not an option. Kleptocracy. Rogue and I will handle this, just like we used to. Stop you, dickhead. What's your scheme? This is my body. I make the calls. Not this time. Uh, Johnny. Jesus, look at you. Can't even. Great, you checking out again? Sensitivity is a good sign. Means your optic nerves aren't damaged. My head. Ah. Almost done stabilizing the biochip. Uh, feels like. Someone's using your head as a knife block. How. How'd I get here? Drags yourself here, beat to hell and back. You missed the hell of a fright. Then you shoved my patient at the time off the table. And demanded you be treated immediately. Dominic was your guardian angel. Huh? I, uh, wasn't completely myself. I know. And that's a bit worrying. Heh. <laughs> Order a weaker poison next time. This ain't no joke, kid. As I see it, there won't be a next time. All right, that should be a little better. Try sitting up carefully. I'll try. I think I'm getting some feeling back. Ah, so slowly. Ah, another victory for the history books. I can sit up all right, but I can tell you don't have good news. How much longer is this going to go on? You tell me. Looking at you, not long at all. Next attack, you will be able to crawl back here. You'll flatline in some back alley. This is your last chance to take matters into your own hands. Understand? Yeah, I know. Thoughts on where to start? Jesus, again. Do I have to spell it out? It's in your hands, not mine, and not those of that thing in your head. Now, see that setup over there? Yeah? What about it? You'll find the last dose of pseudo-endotrizin there. A gift from Misty. Want to give in to the voices in your head? Go ahead. Take a puff. Go silent. Get out. Or find another way. End things on your own terms. Got a little present for me over there, too. Blockers. Manage to walk those few yards to the table. The rest will be up to you, and you alone. You heard him. We've got one last chance. I'm taking the wheel. Endotrizine, Rogue, Sokka Tower. Only way this is gonna work. Give it a fucking rest, Johnny. It's my decision, and I gotta think about it. Need to stretch your noodle? noodle? Fine. Just not, it's not in this basement. basement. V, Christ, you're talking out loud. Out loud? What? 
Just go fix this thing. I think I can do it. Whatever you decide, let's make sure to get out of here. Who won the bout? Oh, so you heard that. Did he get up? Walsh, was it? No, nope. never does. Meaning? It's a rerun. One I'd like to go back to. Why'd you get so mad then? You already knew who won. Oh, no, really. Guess I like to think about where Walsh might have tripped up. Any theories? Entering the ring against a stronger opponent, but it feels a little strange to call that a mistake. Can't thank you enough for all you've done, Vic. Only wish I could have done more. Go on now. I want to close up. Take the meds and do what you gotta do, V. Thanks, Vic. I will. And you hang in there, too. Good luck, kid. Hey, V, I heard... Well... Your thoughts? Shouldn't have had to. Sorry about that. No need to be. I know what's going on. And I know it won't be easy for either of you. If you don't want to decide here, I know a much better place. Sure. Got a feeling Vic's had enough of me as is. Don't be mad at him. His chakras are all blocked up today. Plus, he's had too much coffee. Then let me guess. My aura is sputtering. Mm hmm. Afraid so. Sure, lead the way. Why is this spot special? I took Jackie there once. It's not far. Jackie? What's he got to do with any of this? You'll see. Come on. face oh Jack this is it Chica I'm done for doesn't sound like the Jackie I knew that was a long time ago his mom had just found out he'd signed up with the Valentinos trust me Senora Wells on one shoulder your gang chumbas on the other no choice can ever seem right mm -hmm. life wasn't easy for my Jackie he found the courage to bet on himself. After. I brought him here. Ah, oh, that's more like it. Air. See that? I come here when I need to get away. Be alone with my thoughts. She's on to something. Ought to sit, mull through some shit yourself. Be alone with my thoughts. Near on unachievable these days. So what... What did Jackie decide up here? Oh, you know gonna be a legend in this city. And I'm gonna leave you alone now. Take your time. Fucking scared me, know that? Thought you were on your way out. No, still here. For now. 
You know, should call anyone you want to say goodbye to. Worst case scenario. Now, would you expect? No. But whatever you decide, risk's gonna be high. If things don't go our way, just fucking do it. Anyone you gotta talk to, now's the time. Pills can wait. I'm calling Pan Am. Pan Am. Just wanna hear her voice. Sure as hell hope it's that and only that. Keep you long. Just wanted to hear you. Huh. You picked an interesting hour for it. Me? Okay, what's going on? To know that we'll see each other again. What? You know. Fine. Fuck no, off. No, no, not like that. Make up your mind. Something. Something I gotta do today. Gonna be high risk, big time. But I have to. What is it? It's not for comms. Not really. Then shut up and tell me where you are. In the city? Yeah. Okay, then plant your butt somewhere and wait. I'm on my way. You don't get it. I... I can't wait anymore. This has something to do with what you were telling me before? It does. Well, I'll say one thing. There's always a way out. Here's what you need to do. You need to take a few deep breaths. Then rethink all this. Hard. And then you can call me back. Do you know why? Because I am here for you. But... End of discussion. Well played. Wouldn't let me get a word in edgewise. Probably for the best. Would have said too much anyway. Was good you called. Wish I'd have had the chance to. Come a long way to get here, haven't we? Just think. It all started in a fucking landfill. Mm -hmm. Then you tried to kill me. There was See that. exactly what I mean. Trying to save your sorry hide now. You can let me do that. Or you can try Pan Am and her tarmac rats. But then their lives will weigh heavy on your soul. Or you take Arasaka's deal, but then you'll have your own soul on your conscience. Hmm. Ooh. Good decision. Uh... Arasaka is definitely not playing straight. Uh, no way I'm trusting Johnny, so I guess that's uh, that's gonna be that one. Gonna try to ask Pan Am for help. You absolutely sure? No going back on this, you know. Try this with Pan Am. Got a feeling you're going to regret this decision. And the moment that dawns, I won't be there to help. Could be my last ride, this. Don't work out, uh. I just want to be there for it. Where? Just me now. What happens if I lied to Johnny? No, probably nothing. He's gone. Ready to talk? Ready. I'm glad to hear that. So tell me. 
Need a way into Arasaka Tower. Now. Sorry, what? I'm serious. Whole thing with Johnny? I don't do something soon. I'm done. Gone. Slow down. First, why Arasaka Tower? Tech. Underneath that tower, they got an access point to... Well... Odd as it sounds. A prison of souls. A prison of souls? No. This might not fly over the hollow. Makoshi. That's its name. Only place Johnny and I can disentangle for good. It's my last chance. So, again, just to be clear, you've called me at High Moon to ask me to help you break into Arasaka Tower, or you'll die. About the gist of it, yeah. Okay. What? Okay. Where are you? Vic's clinic. The Ripper? Right, I know where it is. Can you hold off on dying for a bit? Give it a shot, <laughs> sure. Good. Don't go anywhere. I'm coming to get you. Got that one, I guess. Oh, yeah, I did already get that one. Is that you, V? Or... Yeah, it's me. So, what now? Waiting for my driver. Come inside. We'll wait together. Kitty! Who do we have here, huh? That's Mr. Brighton. Found the poor guy in the trash the way the I think he misses Jackie. Being alone. Since you have to wait, mind if I give you a reading? <laughs> no. So why not? Some believe uncertainty is an evil that should be dispelled through divination. Others claim it's change that is evil. But that isn't true either. Every minute of every day, we each become someone new. We shouldn't fear change itself. But only who we might change into. Knowing one's path is most important. I devised this layout especially for you and Johnny. Your future is his future, and vice versa. Okay, I'm ready. We'll start with you, V. The fool. <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> Let's dig deeper to find its meaning here. Yep, first playthrough. The Fool symbolizes the start of a journey, the announcement of something new. It's the inner child, curious of the world, but also naive and reckless. <laughs> Sounds a lot like the V I first met. The Magician. A person of great talent and charisma. A leader. Sounds like Johnny. The card is reversed. That can mean a tendency toward addiction, mental instability. Definitely sounds like Johnny. Okay. Definitely Johnny. <laughs> he is one great disturbance. The final cards are about your futures. The lovers. <laughs> Something that doesn't give me the chills, finally. Balance, friendship, love. Uh -huh. V, have you been keeping something from me? Huh? What? Why? You're making a strange face. I, uh... <clears throat> no. I'm fine. Okay. And Johnny's? Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back and tackle some of the other endings here. The moon. Well, it doesn't sound too bad, right? I don't know, V. The moon is mystery. Mystery. I think that's for you. Yep. No mistaking that ride ever. You scared me, you know that. 
didn't think anything could scare you. Hey. We're here to help, okay? Come on. Everybody's waiting in camp. Look out for yourself, B. Welcome back to the living. You feeling okay? What happened? Passed out on the way. I tried shaking you awake. No avail. Sure does seem like your condition might be getting worse, B. Might. Seem seem like it might. Where'd she go? She's off debating Saul. You need help. That's clear. They sat right down to figure out how we might do that. Come on. I'll take you to see him. So, V, I heard talk that there's a war coming. Afraid I don't got a choice, Mitch. Looks like we don't have one neither. Look what the, cat the whole right clan here. knows we set out tomorrow. They know why, what our aim is. Look around, V. War tested <laughs> veterans are a fistful at most. The rest mostly raid rinky dig convoys and salvage scrap. So for now, they only know as much as they need to know. The Your aim is to is help you salt. out. Do not go muddying the waters. Not now. We're sending this clan to its grave. Fuck, you think I don't know that? And yet you seem to think you can change something by chewing me out like you usually do. V, finally. How's your health? Been better. So, what have you guys patched together? We still have details to iron out. But we know the who, where, and how. Have a look for yourself. A few strategies we sussed out. But only one grants us a decent shot at penetrating Arasaka Tower. We'll dig a tunnel. Sure these plans are up to date? Completely reliable? Positively. We went to our Snake Nation sources. They've been turning stones over in that area. I'm not one to lie. This tunnel gambit is risky. But if it works, that's our way into Mikoshi. I mean... Seems pretty direct so if it's the coach is underneath. Our socket tower. I know how it sounds, but we'd be plumb fools not to take advantage. I see Night Corps building a new maglev line in the area. Granted, it's guarded by Militech, but they're nothing we can't handle. Once we're in that tunnel, it's just half a mile to the substratum levels of our socket tower. You're using one of Night Corps cirques. We only need a few minutes to dig that distance. Not bad, wouldn't you say? Once we're in, we'll have to improvise. Guards, security measures, the fastest way into Mikoshi. We'll take things as they come and hope for the best. V, any thoughts? What's a circ? A subterranean extraction and removal combine. It's automated tunnel boring. If we can grab one, we'll dig through to Arasaka Tower, then go on to Mikoshi. Construction site. What do we got for security? Old place spiked? Will it take out in full force? It's your average hard hat area. Nothing too scary. But we can't just walk past them. We expect to see the usual. Drone patrols, on-site operators, restricted access. Uh-huh. Plan. Entire op. It's about heading into enemy territory. We'll make enemies of our Osaka and others. So it appears. I'm exposing you, all of you, to danger. Want out, want to cut your losses, I'd understand. No hard feelings. You came to us for help. We decided we provide it. Our minds are made up. No more discussion needed. It's settled. We had best get to work. I'll talk to our brothers and sisters. Get a drone buzzing over that site. And I'll check with Mitch. I think I know how to even the odds against Militech. Come find us later. I'll leave you in Saul's hands now. Just no making decisions without me. Hey, thanks for the follow. Is there anything else you need? Hey, you and Pan Am. Something I need to know about. It's funny you should ask. I thought we'd smoothed over the rough edges between us. Then you showed up. <laughs> Pan Am thinks so too? You'd have to ask her yourself. See, B, you're like the outsider who happens upon a family and witnesses nothing but endless quarrels. Then all of a sudden the outsider's presence is noticed and the family members shake hands, join hands, become stronger than they were before. Understand? Yeah. At least I think so. Good. So now you can tell me what else you need. We need a decent net connection. 
Someone I know can help us get into Mikoshi. Who might that be? Alt. She's... It's... An AI. From... Out past the Black Wall. Are you fully present up there? Why in hell would an AI help us break into Mikoshi? Because I'll ask it to. Nicely. <laughs> Please. <Pardon me. laughs> Yup. You know what? Fine. We're up to our balls and dung anyway. Might as well go deeper. Find Dakota. She'll get you geared up. No questions asked. <laughs> Thanks, Saul. <laughs> Thank me once we get out of Mikoshi alive and in one piece. All right. Oh, anything good at the Ripper here? Uh, that's not... That's the Ripper. There we go. Let's see. Okay. That seems useful. Yeah. Wait. There we are. Okay. Really care. Prop breach. I mean, might as well, right? I mean, hell, might as well there as well. Okay, anything else I can install here? Nope. already got some durable armor and I don't think I can install both no I cannot okay shame would have been great titanium bones uh, yes please and also you know that seems like a good thing to have too okay But most importantly, it wreaks mayhem and destruction. Yes. Ooh. That is tempting. You know what? Yeah. Let's do it. All right. So... Also, let's take out that non-lethal mod. Uh, let's see. So. All right. Lots of explosives analysis. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I want to play around with mantis blades but uh not when i'm about to go on the last mission uh i always loved mantis blades in cyberpunk the pen and paper rpg okay so what do we have here talk to dakota yes hey dakota it's been a long while what is it you need? Need a strong rig for a little jaunt on the net. Okay, get in. Gonna be hitting a masked, encrypted BBS. Prefer nobody knew I was there. Your tech up to it? Up to it, he asks. Heading for the wild frontier, Dakota. You have all you need to pierce through to the other side. You needn't fear prying eyes. Ice filled tub. Big. Carol, here to help Dakota? Evidently, I'm here to help you today. You good to go? Can't say how long this is gonna take. Whatever happens, stay cool, all right? 
Even if you look like you're about to flatline? All right, time to move. Follow the vectors, brother. Okay. Perception of cyberspace. That is what changes. You adapt to it. The raw flow of data. It follows that your world gradually fades. You witness your mind's defense system slowly give in. Saying, the more I'm here, the more I lose touch with the outside? With reality? You lose nothing. Cyberspace is where we awake from what we know as dreams. Johnny's currently indisposed. Currently, he is buried deeper. You treat him like an unwanted passenger, a backseat dreamer of a world not his own. Seemed to me you didn't care a lick about Johnny, that he ceased to exist for you even. If he did not exist, you and I would have nothing to discuss. Get this straight. I mean to say, you only agreed to help me because of Johnny. And since he's not here this one time, you're thinking of backing out. I do not aim to back out. I have my own intentions for Mikoshi. Because mm -hmm. for a second you were displeased, and I seemed a side note to all this. To observe the two of you interacting. Informative. Need your help, Alt. Got a lot of time left. You truly believe time to be your greatest concern. You exist or you do not exist. Two states of being separated by death. Speak for yourself. Didn't you cheat death? Is this what you believe? Your code, your consciousness. AIs live beyond reality's boundary. They live forever. But we are not immortal. You will begin to understand, but only in Mikoshi. Why don't you swoop down on your chariot and enlighten me? Surely an all-powerful AI can handle that. Your logic is flawed. You seek simple answers where there simply are none. This is the very illusion upon which your world is based. At this moment, you would accept any answer if it made you feel better. I mean, that's true. Guess that'd be... human of me. Such classifications no longer apply in Mikoshi. Your perception will shatter into billions of strings of unfiltered data. What should I expect there, in Mikoshi? A boundary to cross. In all likelihood, the sole moment of your life when you feel the true weight of your existence. A burden for which you cannot prepare. And Johnny? What happens to him? I lack the data required to answer this question. Is there anything we can know for certain? Yes. That Mikoshi will be no more. Constructs imprisoned there. Gonna set them free? They will be integrated with me. Aha. Uh -huh. Constructs will be integrated? I mean you're gonna absorb them. Assimilate. No wonder you jumped at this chance. You wanna destroy Mikoshi. Swallow all the psyches in there. Mikoshi is a prison. Through me, they gain the chance to become part of something greater. Not sure Johnny would like the sound of that. And yet he is absent. Because you feel you must make the decision. It is the same situation in form. <laughs> Hardly. Doubt you first gab with those constructs, ask them what they think. There would be no point in this. Wasting time talking. Let's just do this. There. I sent a program to your netrunner's shard. 
Once inside Mikoshi, use it. It opens a secure connection. What's on this shard? A vector virus? A back door. It will open a passage for me. This is how you will get me into Mikoshi. Only then will I be able to help you. Hope you haven't cooked up any surprises, Alt. Use the key once you have reached Mikoshi. Should I look for a specific access point? I can already tell you I saw the way to Tokyo will be back in every single one. Some need but a barely cracked door to enter. Use the shard in Mikoshi. Leave the security to me. Until then. We got him back. Carol, the shard! Relax, child. You barely jacked him when your temperature went skyward to almost 100. The tech started acting as if infected. No. Stranger. Spookier. What happened here? <laughs> you melted Spookier. half my tech. That's what happened. Neural activity spiked sharply. Your frontal lobe was seconds away from flowing out your ears, babe. I could just as well have popped a bullet in your head. Are you sure you're all right? Sorry about the damage. <sighs> Nothing is all right, Carol. My mind, my body, it's going to pieces. If I don't get to Mikoshi Calm and yourself, fast. child. You gotta keep it together. You're still buzzing with adrenaline. The shard. Wrote some soft I need to one of the shards. Please. We're surrounded by ice. Even if something punched through, my controllers would have... Oh, but there it is. Holy. Get it away from me. Thanks, Dakota. Don't hmm. thank me. All right. You know, it seems like a good chance to go see if there's a gun or something to buy. More powerful see? weapons. Hello? Not gonna hurt. All right. So that's a very expensive weapon. <laughs> And the answer is no, it appears, well, okay, so there's that. Hmm. Well, let's just, uh, Wow, okay. Do I no, okay. That's fine. That no, yeah, totally fine. That seems normal. Just add that, and add that. Okay, cool. That America's long gone and forgotten. You might as well have started with once upon a time. But that's just it. Doesn't matter where we go, we're strangers in our own land. Every state is practically its own country. It wasn't any different back then. Unity strangers in, mind, in a and strange land, people. perhaps? At least here, now, you know where you stand. Look at it this way. Life can't disappoint if you don't have expectation, illusions. Maybe that's exactly what freedom is, brother. If that's freedom, why do I feel like I can't breathe? Like somebody's gripped my throat and won't let go? Like I said, Teddy, it's a state of mind. Or, you know, the air. Prep coming along all right? <laughs> you call this prep? I'd call it a damn improvisation. 
But that's just Can me. it, Bobby. Hey. Right now? Okay. Sol needs me. Come find us after. Will do. Lo and behold. Isn't this... In theory, we fitted an afterburner and a multi-RPG launcher up Ooh. top. We also scooped out about 60% of its total mass. Beautiful, isn't she? You'll take the wheel with Pan Am riding shotgun. Afterburner. Standard nitro or military grade? Standard couldn't move this baby an inch. So hardware's military. But how the hell did you cram all that into a panzer? Oh, small beans compared to the tricks we pulled with Scorpion during the war. When we unleash this beast tomorrow, you'll see. Firepower up top. What is it? A rapid-fire 70mm multiple rocket launcher coupled with an onboard MMI you can sync to via personal link. Where'd you get all this stuff? Teddy salvaged it from a scrapyard. The launcher itself was fine. The problem was no ammunition. As luck would have it, Dakota procured some. Don't ask me how. Hmm. Since tomorrow's a big day already, how about we take it for a spin now? I want to get a feel for her over the terrain. Sure thing. Maybe after sundown, though. We still have a few loose screws to tighten. That's putting it mildly. Will you quit being such a sourpuss? We'll have her ready in time. So, you wanted a word? Hop up here. We going somewhere? All right, mate. It's a simple matter. We, all of us standing here, owe you. And it's a great debt. Speak for yourself, Saw. But in spite of that, you're still an outsider. A mercenary from Night City. What might as well be another world. Hey, ask Pan Am. She knows. So it's about time we fix that. A downright injustice it is. It needs fixing. You're gonna be an Aldecaldo. Which means this family will go to hell and back for you. Ready, kid? Fuck me, Saul. Brought me to the brink of a heart attack. You're your worst. You're one of us now, V. You're an Aldo Caldo, dammit. Thanks for everything, V, and don't worry. We'll get you into that Makoshi. Isn't that the welcome way? Welcome to the family. A warm welcome for our newest Aldo Caldo! He don't know what to say. He is. It's about time you did it. No, like, I really don't. Never expected this. Thank you. Don't worry. It's but a formality. You've been a de facto member of this family for a while now. You saved my rumpus, and as Bobby tells it, Mitch is too. I won't even mention Pan Am. Go to hell. Saul's right, though. I mean, let's face it, V. My life was in a million pieces. You broke it into a million more. But sometimes it's only then that you can piece it together again. All right, fam, listen up. Today we celebrate, but tomorrow is shaping up to be a hell of a day. Do whatever needs doing. Then get some rest. A raid is a raid. This is still your night. It's a basketball and found you. glory. You could have given me a heads up about this. And ruined all the fun? Are you kidding? Are you all right? Yeah. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. And how's the jacket? Not too tight. Are you alright? Snug as a glove. Feels like I've been wearing it a while. Don't you think you have? You earned this jacket. And the Alda Caldo's devotion. Thanks, Pan Am. If you want to talk, I'll be up there. I need me some ammunition. Three or four packs worth. You got any left? I might have. You, uh, you have to look around. Mad so at me. Maybe I'll take two more 45s. I once found a dead magpie in the hood of my car. Today. It had been a cold night. The magpie, looking for warmth, had found the engine. We couldn't get out next morning. Got cooked alive. I still remember this smell. Charred feathers, misery, death. The moment I met you, that vision appeared before my eyes. Today, I understand why. Okay. So 
I even brought it up. <laughs> but your future is not etched in stone, B. Remember that. What's this? Yard sale of some sort? Essentially. Take what you want. And the occasion would be? The end times. Worthy gesture. Dramatic, even. Actually, pragmatic. I'm giving away my stock to you so you survive tomorrow's mad hell and come back to me. Watch where you're going. That's a look. That is a fucking look. Alright, so I can recycle you. And you. And you. And definitely you. And hell, might as well recycle you too. So how much damage is my current one doing? That's 339. Oh, geez. Okay. I do love my sniper rifle. Oh, but I don't have enough epic icon item components. Anything okay. Okay, can I at least, like, put on new pants? 62, yeah, 62 seems good. Uh, how about that shirt of mine? Okay, great.
can I actually equip that? Seriously, okay. No. Okay, that's fine. We'll just work on that. I see. Okay. C major, then G. Okay, okay, hold on. Hey, I think. How are things, Jake? All good? Great, I'd say. The kidney's taken just like a new oil filter. You have my thanks, V. Okay. Talk to Mitch. Can I talk? I can't talk to Mitch. Okay. Mitch. Hey. What? What you doing? Standing there. Staring. With me standing on your our head. Mitch! 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 Nope. Okay. Well, fine. Let's see if a quick save and then reload will actually get us to a place where Mitch will actually respawn. There we are. What just happened? Still can't quite wrap my head around it. Hardly anyone ever does. The day you get your jacket is a day you never forget. So, time for a ride? Sure she's ready? You know me. I'd gladly spend another two days on her, but this will have to do. Hop in. Let's see what she's made of. What? Okay. All right, fire her up. I've got green across the board. Good sign. Where are we headed? Bobby said there's a scrapyard east of camp. Perfect. <laughs> now let's check Bobby's little find. Punch it, V. Does it seem like she's tending to the left? Makes what you think. Just keep shooting at those rust buckets. I'll recalibrate the targeting on the go. <laughs> I like it. Yep, beautiful. 
Hoo 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 hoo. All right. That's probably good. Let's head back. I'll have to check before tomorrow if her guts are tight and firm. Something just don't sound right to my ear. Send that tree flying over the tent. No problem. Oh, damn, I love those rockets. You nervous about tomorrow? It's not a matter of nerves. Not anymore. Don't you want one? Uh, why the hell not? Good answer. Back during the war, before we were first deployed, we were trained to keep stress in check. Do you want to know how? How? They gave us chem cocktails. Supplements, boosters, God knows what else. They shot them into our veins. Our biomons went wild, but only for a second before stabilizing, and boy, did we stabilize. After a dozen sessions, something clicks in your brain. Neural pathways get rewired. The part of you that generates fear is zapped into oblivion. Thought they banned chem cocktails. During the war, even. Please. Weren't there outbreaks of cyberpsychosis within units? And? Do you think Militech gave a lick about that? They just airlifted the afflicted to their clinics in Taiwan. <laughs> Daily flights. And every day we'd get fresh recruits. Still they pumped us with that shit. But hey, we couldn't argue with the money. So, not afraid of anything at this point? If only it was that simple. I'm not concerned about tomorrow. Raids like that are second nature. It's what's going on in the camp. Eh, no matter. I'm talking silly now. Come on. All in family now, isn't it? The truth is I'm concerned about the goings-on between Pan Am and Saul. They seem to think that putting on a brave face for everyone is enough, but folks here aren't slow. Gossip spreading like wildfire already. That Saul won't pull through, that he's in it for himself, that this family needs a shakeup. What about you? What about me? What's your take? Saul ought to step down, pass the torch to Pan Am. We'll see how things look tomorrow, once the smoke is cleared. Your turn. What do you reckon? Mitch. Not gonna be facing a ragtag band of raffin or an exposed convoy. If we want to get out of this op alive, they need to have their shit They're together. They're trying. They might even have started to see eye to eye in their own way. Hell, by now they both know what's expected of them, what the clan expects of them. Please tell me Saul offered Pan Am a seat at the table. And what gave you the idea Pan Am wants a seat to begin with? I think I get it. Pan Am's about the clan, not power. The question is whether she can reconcile the two. Hey, don't look at me. It's like this, see? Pan Am's hell-bent on helping you. But Saul sees this whole thing as an opportunity. Possible loot from Makoshi. Mm-hmm. If we pull this off, get our hands on some sweet Arasaka tech that'll set us up down south. Do you follow? These folks' fears. Buy Saul some time. Saul's a smooth operator. He knows what he's doing. Let's just hope he hasn't overplayed his hand. 
All right, we've gossiped enough for one day. What was just spoken stays between us, okay? I'm gonna poke around some in this baby's insides. Right. Happy hunting, Mitch. Wait, I just talked to Mitch. Okay, there we go. Hey, I know you got food. Give me some. Oh, wait a minute. Let's check out that new jacket. Let's see how it compares. So 143, okay. Seems like a good thing to have. Also, can I finally equip that damn weapon? No. Okay. Fine. People pull through tomorrow. I know these people. Some better than myself. Focus of mind, sense of purpose, calm storm they'll give it their all yeah i bet they will good night Saul. wait hmm? i feel i need to make one thing clear you've done a lot for this clan and for me more than anyone ever has but the family comes first Saul. let me finish i also know there's just one thing that could break it up at this point pan em and me we went our separate ways. The Aldecaldos would not survive that split were it to occur again. You understand what I'm trying to tell you. Wonder if Pan Am feels the same. You all think Pan Am and I are facing off. There's a wall between us. Isn't there? Quite the contrary, V. Pan Am cares about this clan as much as I do. Granted, we don't see all things the same way, but oddly enough, family stands to benefit from that. I've seen it. Soon, you will too. How about us, Saul? We good? It's an important day tomorrow. Get some rest. Just wait till I'm finished with her. That clunker of yours won't scare anybody. Not even if you spike the rims. I think you swerved a little bit. Don't you all have somewhere you need to be, huh? Do you know where I saw the most stars? Mount Sinai, at the peak. Since when were you in Egypt? I used to work on a tanker, so I've been pretty much everywhere. But those stars on Sinai, millions of them, at the tips of your fingers. You think someone's, you know, out there? I mean, the Milky Way has at least a hundred billion stars, right? Which means you'd be looking at around 200 billion planets that could support life. And that's just in our galaxy. So why haven't they made contact yet? Because they don't give two licks about us. <laughs> I mean, look around. Would you?
Wish I were on the road. Who's Teddy, and where am I supposed to take a seat? We got a problem? Can't you see I'm busy? And the star high up. Samurai songs. On a night like this, I'm not thinking about anarchy. It's all about unity, brother. Know this number? That might be pretty much it for. Oh, what's this ritual about? A few cold ones ahead of a raid. Oh, <laughs> that kind. But this isn't your average brew. It's one of the last bottles from our very first run. We kept a few crates, but good luck. What was it someone said then? Shit, can't remember who. Someone said, when we finish them all, the Aldecado's luck will run out. Ah, superstitious bullcrap is your hobby. <laughs> Says the brother whose hand is all shaky when he pops one open. I'll take a swig. I'd have a beer. Well, well, not bad. To tomorrow. The goddamn safe returns. To Saul and Pan Am. Because if they don't kiss and make up, Everything's liable to go tits up. Bob, you're just always the optimist, ain't you? V, you must know where they stand. Do you? You think it's really that bad between them? The truth is, we need cash. And fast. Amen. This Mikoshi's a personal thing to you. But Saul, he sees an opportunity for the clan. If anyone of the family is still left standing tomorrow, Had it up to here with the Pan Am versus Saul debate. Join the club, child. How are things with you guys? Not much to say. All seems set for tomorrow. We still waiting on some intelligence from the drone. Should no more come morning. Apart from that, we're keeping our toes crossed. We don't give fuck tomorrow. Pardon my French. I can promise you one thing. Alda Caldos will survive. Make sure of it myself. Easy on the promises, V. But you're right. This clan has a chance to rise from the ashes. I'm of the same mind. If we come back from Mikoshi, if this crazy-ass plan works, it'll be a fresh start for the Aldecaldos, I say. Mm -hmm. This feels like the part where Bobby says it. Hey, now. I'm no defeatist. Don't call me that. 
All right, best be going. See you tomorrow. You fellas really think we'll find anything of value there? Thoughts? I have none. I mean, I don't even know. I'm so tense I barely caught a wink last night. It's likely to be the same tonight. What's eating you? Well, let's see. Tomorrow I'll lead my whole clan to near certain death. As if that's not enough, Saul is suddenly concurring with everything I say. And I don't even know if that's good or bad. Fuck. <laughs> People are doubting us. But they still believe if it all goes to shit, Pan Am will be there for them. Because who else, right? You feel responsible for them, and who in the right mind wouldn't? It's not the responsibility I'm worried about. I'm just looking at this with a cool head. Saul has made all the wrong decisions to be a little more like me. But only I know what I'm good at and at what I stink. I'm not a miracle worker, V. I'm scared to the bone something will go wrong. That everyone will... Be right there with you tomorrow. Whatever happens, we'll be together. We'll manage. I don't know what I would do without you. You do what you needed to. What do you know? V? Yeah? Are you not afraid to die? I am. All the fucking time. You're great at hiding it. Any for your thoughts? Can we just... I'm thinking about the first night I spent up here. Do this? I've been on the road. I was on my way back and wanted to clear my head before hitting camp. Before another likely shouting match with Saul. It was completely dark. Empty. Not a star in the sky. All I heard was the wind and a few engines in the distance. And I sat here, waiting for the world to fall away. For my mind's RPM to drop to zero. Did it? No. I realized that night it wouldn't happen again. That my mind would always be on the road. Even while I was sitting, freezing on a cliff. I could sit here with you all night. I think I'd like that. You have no idea how much I needed that. Let's go before our asses freeze over. Saul's back. Let's go. Maybe he turned up something new. Yeah. Okay. Seems like nice, comfortable steel plates to spend the night on. Okay, I gotta try it again. Can I finally equip this sniper rifle? No! I just want my sniper rifle. Now that is a sight I will never tire of seeing. This looks like they a best not keep them waiting. Mad Max edition of Mario Kart. Top down, gear loaded. We are prepared to go. And everything else? If this goes to shit, we need to break camp in a rush. We are prepared to do that too. 
and nothing is going to shift. Looks like everyone's ready. As ready as they can be. It's not your usual raid. First for many. Mitch probably roused him. I did. I do. But one crisis at a time is all I can handle. Feel that? The tension? It means they've realized what they're stepping into. Ah! That's the tree that I <laughs> just got back. Knocked over. You wanna see this. The, uh, the tree that Pan Am just moved effortlessly? Or see something else? Get any sleep at all? The older you get, the less you need. Ain't that the, the truth? Wouldn't have slept a wink for a raid like this. And good intel is just better than a good night's sleep. Take a guess. That's not true. <laughs> Thanks. The plan is simple. We have two objectives. One, get into Arasaka Tower and assist V in accessing Mikoshi. And two, take advantage of the confusion to gather as much equipment as we can. Prizes like that will see to our cash flow problem. The only way into Mikoshi is to dig through to Arasaka Tower's underground levels. Which means we have to hit the Maglev Tunnel construction site and hijack the Night Corp Cirque. Last but not least, intel from our recon drone has showed us a couple of weak points. This valley leads to the site. I doubt they'll be expecting trouble there. All the same, we'll want to move quickly. Time is of the essence. We can't allow the guards to call for backup. And if we're too slow? That'll be a job for Bob and his jammer. We'll just have to get close to their comms antenna and start transmitting. Let's not kid ourselves. It won't stall them for long. Let's hope it keeps them busy just long enough. Are there drones there? Early detection systems? Anything? It's not Fort Knox. Yet Night Corp is using Militech for security, so you never know. I guarantee you the patrol in the area. In any case, our drones will match theirs. Teddy will be on the lookout to raise the red flag. Okay. So, up to the comms tower. Entry point through. Could also come up through there. No. Construction site's walled in. Are Panzer's gun big enough for that gate? You bet your ass it is. Sounds good so far. What else? Once you're inside, you need to reach the Cirque and get it to do your bidding. Enter Mitch and Carol. Get that drill up and running, and the road to the cellars of Arasaka Tower will be wide open. From there, V, Pan Am, and I will get to the laboratory and find a way into Mikoshi. And while we're drilling in, should we expect anyone to crash our party? If everything goes as planned, nobody should know where we are or what we plan to do. Feel free to look around more if you want. We still have some time left. I think I've seen enough. Well, that about does it. V, you ready? How will we get back from there? The same way we'll go in. And fast. Both ways. Our people will try to hold the road while we're inside. So V, you ready? So uh, all right. It's getting a little bit late, so uh, I think I will save this for another time. And it seems like a good place to stop anyway and I still can't equip my sniper rifle oh, all right well let's just save right here forward to death that sounds nice and cheery and we will tackle that 
next time.